okay, that was... The Hollies. Look through any window. From quite a long time ago. But I think it fits in. I think it's relevant to this, this topic. Yes, we just said that anything that involves a song, somebody looking out of a window has got to be poetic in one way or another, doesn't it? It sets off the mind, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So tell me more about the city walls, because last time you were here, you were insisting that the, the high street was the feature of, of UK towns that you noticed and recognised, and it's a straight line. Whereas the city walls is like a medieval shape, which is more circular. Yes. So have you changed your mind a bit, or, or those, how do those two ideas fit together? Well, I suppose they fit together quite easily. One just needs to look at uh, you know, the grid of, of any city from above to, to see that, you know, for, for many places. Not, and we're not talking, obviously... Obviously, within a medieval city, you need that perimeter that you can defend, so you need to, to draw a circle around it somehow, and you need to fortify that, don't you? So, but um, uh, as opposed to, say, those concentric layouts that you find in many European cities, you know, when you have one or multiple square as the, as the heart of the city, a bit like a spider web, you know, with the spider, spider sitting in the centre, and from all the gates, you know, in a, in a radius, kind of the streets feeding towards it, um, it's a different sort of layout, um, a different sort of experience, urban experience, as opposed to sort of the more linear setup of, of the high street. And the high street is a dominant feature in many UK towns. And it facilitates a particular type of encounter and a particular type of city centre experience. Saying that, though, Exit, of course, has the Cathedral Green, which constitutes something of a square, and people love it. And during our interviews of the city centre, we've asked people the question, you know, um, because we've walked around the city centre with placards for a day, just asking people a number of questions about their city centre. And we asked them what constitutes a city centre in their mind, um, geographically, but also sort of metaphorically, or to them, what is the pumping, beating heart of the city. And a lot of people mentioned the Cathedral Green. And by definition, to many people also we spoke to, a city centre is a square, a sort of square, in fact, uh, a place where you can encounter and meet people, where you can watch people, where things happen, um, where there's a sense of unpredictability to it. Um, that's, that sort of transcends shopping. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how literal are you going to be on this 10-minute walk from the Cathedral Green idea? Because you, you've mentioned St Thomas. I think that's a bit... A bit on the edge, really. I don't think anybody would get across the river in ten minutes. Well, I can do that. You can do it. <laughs> oh, okay. How far, how far down Carrick Street can you get in ten minutes from the cathedral? I don't know. I mean, there's, there's got to be some flexibility to it, doesn't it? You know. So views from across the river will be included. Yeah, if they're fast. <laughs> okay. So it's your ten minutes, not not the residents' ten minutes. I said they, they can hire a runner if they want. <laughs> and um, just got to prove it's humanly humanly possible. <laughs> no, only, only, jo only joking. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Val Kirk is offering to run there if you want. <laughs> oh, what is, it, is this coming in on on your phone, Chris? <laughs> no, that's what I just picked up. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. There's better people than myself, I'm sure. Okay. Well, all, that, all the way, I'm that, swift. That extends the scope a bit. So, <laughs> you, you've you've also got videos. I don't know. Are they still around? You had videos over last weekend, which was a, a an arts weekend and a, a not open studio in Exeter, that's which right. didn't mean that it was not open. It meant it was more open in a, in a way. Yes. But as part of that, you had video screens. In, in Exeter, and are they are they still there, and will they, will they stay there for a while? And they were meant to be there for the duration of um, uh, NOS, not Open Studios Exeter, which was just a weekend, but um, two of the places liked it so much that they decided to keep it running. So, it's, um, so if you walk down 4th Street, you can either go into the Bike Shed Theatre, and they've got a video still running in their bar space, cafe bar space, or you could look at Hangar 124, it's a nice little clothes shop down 4th Street, vintage clothes thing, and they've got a little monitor inside their shop window. And um, yeah, the same film is running on a loop there, and it's a sequence of windows that we have already filmed to, I suppose, give people an idea um, what the materials that we're going to generate are going to be like. Because it's very, <coughs> it's very unintrusive what we're doing there. 
but to some people obviously that's a hurt listen that they imagine somebody coming into their house you know and uh, which is in fact going to happen of course you know with with film lighting and a high definition camera and but the way we're going to frame people's views is outwards so it is about just giving a little hint at where they live but mostly their view so the the outcome will be unintrusive and in fact fairly anonymous so just remind us of the the sort of sequence uh, over, over the summer or autumn as to how these different elements are going to appear well we've had a period of public engagement which involved uh, people revisioning their city center touring a bay window around having conversations around the city center with a fluffy mic headphones and placards um, that, and there may be more of such activities coming up depending you know how we see it necessary. The next step will be for myself um, uh, in collaboration with our composer John Drieber going out and um, filming, working with our 20 residents. We have quite a few <coughs> lined up already, we haven't quite hit our 20. Um, uh, to, film, to film and document their views in sound and image and when I say views, obviously, I mean that literally and metaphorically. And then to put that whole thing together into a video installation that goes into museum, into the museum. Um, so when will, when will that be in the museum? Are you asking me? Uh, uh, Roughly. What, uh, which, 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 which month <laughs> do you think it'll be but there? Better check it on the website, everybody. But I think the installation will go up around oh. June. But I can't, I can't, I don't know, 100% for <coughs> certain. Um, don't ask me any more well, about the exact timeline. It's okay. all on the website, people. Okay, okay. Check it there. Okay. Um, and we can we can bring people up to date before then anyway. Oh, yes. But roughly, yes. let's say June then. Yeah, yeah, roughly. So, so that, that happens. Yeah, I think so. Um, and then afterwards, the next stage will be um, using the map, which is a non-geographical map that will show some of the views uh, we are working with. And people... That people can purchase the map. It's going to be something like 250 or something small, sort of, uh, you know, reasonably priced. And people will be moved to will be able to move around the centre as a way of experiencing uh, uh, to be inside someone's view rather than looking at it. And there will also be some digital elements to it, so that bits and bobs of information can be uh, made available through mobile devices in relation to the map. Um, and then the next step will be the performance, uh, which will happen in a city centre location. Um, we're looking at empty shops and the like. And roughly, roughly the time of year for that? I think it'd be around September. It's, I think it's, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's, well, let's, let's just have a quick look at the dates and maybe, you know, afterwards, okay. you know. Yeah, okay. As far as we know Do at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> keep, keep listening, dear listeners. We, we, we will update you next week and over forthcoming weeks That's right. on, on exact dates. more... But yeah. it, it seems like sort of over, over the summer there will be installation in the museum mm -hmm. and then there will be the map yes, which will show a 10 minute walk at fantastic speed <laughs> from the Cathedral Green and uh, the, 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 city, yeah. the city walls in some kind of shape we imagine <laughs> and um, where the links are to something digital well, and, yeah. and uh then there will be a performance. This will be a theatrical performance. Yes. So out of the 20 people we work with, we will work with a yet smaller selection of five residents um, in developing a piece of performance work that will be located in a city centre location, but also in five different locations across the city centre, connected via um, stream, video stream, through the internet. So are those viewing locations or input locations, as it were? So I mean, is this to get a live stream of somebody's view that is fed into the performance, or is this a place where anybody can view the performance? It will be a live stream of somebody's view that is fed into the performance in the city centre location. It will be multiple live streams. It will be pre-recorded images. It will be people and performers roaming the streets with cameras. So there will be views, roaming views. And um, the performance itself will involve the um, performing of scripted bits. There will be some movement choreography in and around the city center. And there will be some ensemble work. And people will be able to buy um, tickets to see the event at the city center location. 
there may be also a possibility for them to see elements of it online. Maybe. Oh, right, OK. Well, I'd like to come back to that. I think we should have another, another piece of music. Okay. If you play the, play the, play the, the next track. This is a track, uh, if, if it turns out to be the one I'm expecting, uh, I think it's the Jackson, Jackson 5, and I, I've, I've used this on a video that I've done of my, uh, my walk last Saturday, which uh, included seeing the bay window in Sidwell Street. So uh, this, this is, um, I hate, I think, the Jackson 5. J D J D J D J K C. 